I grew up knowing that every white person knows English. But actually, I came to realize that it's not like the way we think. Or it's not like the way, yeah, we think actually. Because I knew that every white person that can speak English. You know, at times, we leave our countries like maybe we left our african countries and we went to uae to look for jobs we went to arab countries to look for those jobs but when we reached there most of the people the big percentage of the people that we work for actually they don't know english so I I was so disappointed to see this young man being exposed that he lost his job because he doesn't know English. We all grew up not knowing English. It is a language that everyone can learn. And I also learned this English through other people. Even they were young children because I used to take care of like rich people's children you understand so the little english i'm speaking here i just maybe learned it from those little children i used it to take care of because i remember one time they used to laugh at me but i wanted also to express myself or to fit in them since i was the one like maybe caring for them maybe and i got to know how i can at least express a simple sentence in english it is a la it is a language that was brought in africa and we just learned it to those who got a chance to go to better schools they can even speak english and you think it's their native language you understand so for me i grew up knowing that maybe every white person knows english and it's not like that so when we go to other countries maybe we i've been in saudi arabia working with other indonesian people like people from philippines people from different countries they actually don't know english it's we africans who can at least express a simple sentence and even we have better off people who have gone to better schools and they can express themselves and they can speak well english as if it is their native language so even other these other people who are white they don't know english it's only that they get a chance once they go to the house and you have to learn the arabic it's the only language they can at least and you also get to know something you understand if you you are lucky you'll get someone who will who knows what a cup it is in english and maybe they tell you it they, they, they say this a cup it is called this and this in arabic and you also got to know so even the person who was interviewing this young man did not even know english but if the point was he didn't know english that's why he was just out of the country then that was wrong because we go to work for people who are actually green like there is no way we can communicate with them it takes us a lot of days and a lot of time a lot of months like to get used to each other because of the language so if at all everyone sh would uh, it's english the problem so if you see me uh, maybe stopping or doing what that means it is english so it's so it, it's not our native language and it's not everyone's native language so that means no one should be just out of the country or out of the job because of the because of english actually because we learn from each other it's 
it's the experience that we need than like english eh? at least you try to give someone practical work and see see the person's potential than chasing someone out of the job i was so disappointed if at all it was english then we wouldn't be working in saudi arabia for sure because most of us most of the people they don't know english actually but it's it's the potential that has made us to work for you and for you even to express yourself in english it's hard if at all i can leave this video to play even the person who was interviewing this young man for real you can't say that his english made him roast made him lose his that his job <laughs> maybe if there was another uh, another maybe another reason behind uh, but then if it was english i don't think that we would survive in those countries so i think it's the potential of the person at the job than than the language i think yeah uh, okay if it was english then I, I think so many people in a country where he had gone to work they would have got so many in there like so many within the country than always saying that you want africans or you want people from other countries yeah so it's the potential let us always give people another chance okay then some people were like to become a like a security guard you need to be knowing english if it was the case we know these countries have got so many jobs at least let them be a cleaner somewhere let them be fixed somewhere than being chased out of the country because uh, i heard that he invested 6 millions you understand he invested a lot to get this job he invested in a lot to travel hmm, to to that country where he had gone to get that job then if he was returned back because of english and the, he was not even like refunded his money back then that was unfair that was unfair sincerely so i tried to get some of people's comments and someone was like who lost the job that interviewer or the interviewee and then someone else said that he came to work or speak english my madam couldn't speak english neither anyone in the family so i had to learn arabic sure sure today i understand everything according to job mm, that is english and then someone said who lost the job cause both are not english mm, yeah it's english hey, i think both rose their job it's english we are on english issue so many were wondering how this man was really chased out of the job yet even the person who was asking him didn't know english you understand maybe we need to hear another side of this man what chased him out of the country because it can't be english you know you can't lose a job in the middle east because of english that's impossible there must have been another issue they never wanted to tell the young man hmm? the people are still asking themselves because if who was asking the english was not as they expected